The next speaker is Robert, and Robert, I think, was the inspiration for the project by Philip. Um, Robert is, I think, for me, one of the role models in our CheckMK community. He's one of the persons who is contributing in the forum on support. He's contributing with um, plugins. He has his really big open source repository, and <laughs> that's Robert. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, thanks for Philip, uh, to Philip for the honorable mention. And um, let's get this started. Um, to quote the rapper Nelly, um, it's getting hot in here, right? And uh, I am trying to be as quick as possible. And I'm also the last person before your lunch break, so I'm even quicker than. <laughs> um, my name's Robert. Thank you for the introduction, Martin. Uh, you may know me from the forum. Some of you may know me from the exchange. Some of you may know me from check on car trainings. And some of you even may know me from consulting jobs. Um, I'm trying to talk about tags and labels. And um, uh, as Philip already mentioned, uh, these are great uh, tools within the CheckMK configuration to organize your hosts. And I'm trying to set up or to present a use case to combine these two. And I also uh, try to include a hidden feature of CheckMK within the use case. So you may learn something new today. Um, as Philip already mentioned, and this is uh, going to be very quick, Tags are configured in tag groups. We have additional auxiliary tags. And this is one of the uh, worst English words I know. Um, you can use tags in host properties, in rules, in filters. This is nothing new for you. Tags are only available for hosts. And you can only set one choice per tag group in the host properties. Examples are um, a host group rec with choices like BC3040, BC3041, and others. And you often have a default choice like not applicable because some of your assets are not in a rec, but somewhere else. Auxiliary tags uh, combine multiple choices within a tag group or even multiple tag groups if you want to. Um, I call them supersets because uh, with tags you have sets of hosts and with the auxiliary tags you can combine these sets into supersets. For example, some of the recs are in a data center called G12 and some of the recs, other recs are in data center L15. And when you assign the rec tag the auxiliary tag for the data center is automatically assigned, and you can use the data center tag to get all the hosts in one data center. You can filter that, you can put rules on them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, examples: um, the the auxiliary tag is assigned to the choice inside the tag group. So if you go to the tech group editor, you can assign the auxiliary tech there. Labels, on the other hand, are basically free text. This is something Philip already mentioned. Um, you have the form label key and label value. You have only one label key possible per host or service, because labels can also be assigned to services. And there is a large risk, in my opinion, of inconsistency. Yeah, because it's a free form uh, text input field in the host properties section. And um, Philip already had that example with data center with or without space. And um, um, when you want to start with the labels and you s start on day one with label data center, and 14 days after, you have a data center with a space in it. And it's not consistent. This is why I always tell in the trainings that labels should be set automatically. From the agent data, via the REST API, via rule sets, host labels, and service labels, or, for example, via the rule set process discovery. 
There you have a feature. I don't know in which version this feature came, maybe 2.0. But you can set a host label in the rule set process discovery that basically tells that a specific software is installed on this host. And in the end, labels can be used like tags in rules, in filters, etc. Examples are um, automatically set um, labels uh, starting with CMK here, or labels from the process discovery. I usually call them software slash Apache, for example, colon yes. Or labels that I use later in my use case, SLA for service level agreement, platinum, gold, and silver. OK, what's the use case? Um, I want to send out notifications based on criticality. Uh, I, and in addition, I want to be able to flexibly assign criticality to my monitored assets. And not only to hosts on the host level, but also on the service level. Because there could be services that are more important than others, or services that are less important than the other services of a host. So I want, for example, send SMS text messages in the night for platinum assets. Or I do not want to send emails for silver assets. And uh, this is now um, the introduction of the hidden feature I mentioned, service levels. That's a setting in the global settings uh, within the setup of CheckMK. Um, there are already um, yeah, basically four service levels defined when you open that uh, in the global setting. And the service levels have a numeric ID and a name or description. And you can use them in filters and especially in notifications. And notifications allow, even allow to, um, to apply a range of the service level. So you can say, I want a specific notification when the host or service has a service level between 20 and 30, for example. You have to assign these service levels to the host and services via rule set, because everything is assigned via rule set in CheckMK. And uh, there are two rule sets because we have services and hosts. Uh, by default, there's no configuration, so that's a very hidden feature. Uh, by default, nothing in your CheckMK setup has a service level. So my idea is now to assign the service level via a label. And I want to use a host tag as a default for the whole host and its services. Because in the host properties, I can easily select a default um, host tag, a default um, service level for the host. And then I can use labels for exceptions as I mentioned, when specific services have other service levels. And to repeat that, services can have labels but no tags. It's not quite true, I have to say here. There is a rule set that can assign tags to services, but you cannot use them. Yeah? There is no um, other place in CheckMK where service tags are usable. They are no, uh, not usable in condition for rules. They are not usable in filters, as far as I know, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, services can have labels, but no tags. Um, to assign a default service level to a host, I misused maybe the tag group criticality, and I just added an new choice called no SLA to have four um, choices for the service level. And um, I, I'm not able to use the offline tag here because that um, puts the host out of the active monitoring, right? So I have the productive system, which will be assigned a service level of gold. 
have the business critical, which will be assigned a service level of platinum. And I have the test system silver, and I have maybe also systems with no service level. And now I can use that tag group in the host properties to assign a default service level. And this is most in most places a manual process. You can set host tags via API for sure and do that also automatically. But um, because it's mostly a manual process here, it's easier to use a tag group because you have a uh, predefined set of choices, and nobody can make an error here. Okay? And the conceptual overview is you have the host tag, the host tag assigns a host label, the host label assigns a service label by default, and the host label assigns a service level to the host, and the service label assigns a service level to the service. And um, I need several rule sets for that to do. The uh, two rule sets I use first is the host labels and the service labels rule sets, um, where I create four rules in each uh, rule set to assign the default from the host tag, respectively the um, host label. And um, I call my labels SLA, colon, non, silver, gold, and platinum. And then I have the rule sets for service level of hosts and service level of services. And here I use the service labels and the host labels to assign a service level to hosts and services. And in the end, I have a uh, the possibility to um, create exceptions in just one rule set, the service labels, where I can say everything that begins with checkmk has service level silver, for example. Yeah? And the services that begin with MSSQL on test host 12 get no service level at all. And everything else that starts with MSSQL gets a service level platinum. And after that, as the rules are uh, evaluated from top to bottom, after that, the four default rules um, are shown and assign the default service levels based, in the end, on the uh, tag group choice in the host properties. And this is the only place where I have to define my exceptions. And after the initial setup with the several rules and the um, service levels in the global settings, etc., I just have to edit um, new rules here in the service labels rule set, and everything is done. Yeah. And I think this is a very flexible approach and a nice combination, a nice example for the combination of tags and labels. And this was my talk. Thank you for your uh, patience. <laughs> don't see any test, test, test. I don't see any questions. Oh, no, we have one. Hey, Robert, how is it possible to search Labels via regex in the GUI. Oh, um, I would have to pass that to the CheckMK developers. <laughs> um, but don't we have in our search the label like a, like basically like a quick search? The quick search can yeah. search for labels, for host labels and service labels, yeah. and that one. Does it use regular expressions in the yeah. label? Maybe last you can um, come to the front and help us. <laughs> Lars Michelsen, is he around? No, he no. He doesn't want to. <laughs> I, will an I will find him and answer it basically in the Slido chat, because I don't know myself, I will try it out, because I think, we, I mean, we have the, um, you can use in the search field, you can use HL for host labels or SL for service labels, and that search is quite powerful, but 
I cannot promise anything here. Yeah. Then let me check if there are any other questions. You, you now get Check MK Consulting questions. <laughs> <laughs> can you okay. move can For Check MK Consulting, you can visit our website and. Uh <laughs> 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 can you move a host to a folder based on a label? Uh, not within CheckMK. I think you would have to write your own automation script and use the REST API for that. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. OK, then, Robert, thanks very much. Have a nice lunch and see you in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs>